Hi, this is Ashok here. I am a trainer for CFA and you are watching Phoenix training YouTube channel where I make content pertaining to CFA and investment banking topics. So this video is pertaining to mark to market concept. Mark to market, shortly called as MTM. So this, uh, I'm explaining this with a future contract example from derivatives. So for example, X and Y are entering into a contract. You know, they are entering into a future contract. That is, you know, to buy and sell the underlying asset at the agreed price. The agreed price over here is uh, uh, 1000. And let's say today, today the date is 20th and the expiry date is 25th okay so five days in between gap is there so now today let's say you know 9 30 they have agreed for this contract 9 30 a.m and then when the market closes you know so initially when they both are agreeing they will have to uh, pay initial margin to the exchange so in this case imagine 40 percentage is the initial margin I'm, I'm taking that as the example here so 40 percentage of this thousand comes to 400 similarly y will also pay uh, a 40 percentage that is 400 uh, to the exchange which will be deposited in their margin account okay so that they don't default from the contract so they both both are paying uh, uh, 400 and they are getting exposure to a contract worth for thousand okay so now when the market closes today imagine it goes to let's say 1010 so the market has gone up now who will be happy over here between x and y let's say x is bullish okay or x is the buyer so buyer will be bullish he wants the price to go up x is the buyer so x is the buyer and y is the uh, seller so se buyer wants the price to go up and seller wants the price to come down okay so when the price is going up over here uh, so that means he agreed to buy at thousand only on the expiry date that is 25th and uh, now on 20th itself the price has gone to 1010 so it has gone up by 10 and so in the buyer's account next day morning when he checks you know 10 will be credited to his account and will be credited to his account and similarly uh, so now this 10 is is not coming from the sky right so this 10 is coming from whose pocket it will come from the seller so from this seller's account 10 will be reduced and he will have the balance of 390 okay so this is let's say this is based on 20th uh, uh, 20th uh, you know closing price then imagine on 21st it goes to 1000 and let's say 25 so it has gone up by um, it has gone up by uh, 15 right 1025 minus 1010 so it comes to 15 so this is happening on 21st 21st end of the day the closing price is 1025 so what will happen is the next day again you know the buyer is happy because the price has gone up okay so now the effect we have to give between 2025 and 1010 so the effect is you know the, the 15 uh, 15 in between so that 15 amount will be added to the buyer and again you know it will be reduced from the uh, seller's account okay it will be reduced from the seller's account so i'm just writing here minus 15 minus 15 then imagine next day you know now every day it may not go up right so let's say next day it comes down to 1020 so this is happening on 22nd 22nd 1020 so now in this case who is happy now now you see the price is going down it is going down from 1025 to 1020 so in this case seller will be happy so so now we have to give the effect for 1020 to 1025 so there is a gap of 5 so in this case seller is you know gaining 5 and so it is coming from the buyer's pocket he will lose 5 okay similarly 
let me erase this to get some space similarly let's say 23rd it has gone to assume 23rd it has gone to you know let's say 1050 so it will be plus 30 here it will be minus 30 here because there is a gap of 30 now and it has gone up so it will favor the buyer so this is happening on 23rd 23rd then on 24th imagine it has come down by 10 okay so it goes to 1040 so 24th so because it is coming down seller will be happy so he will get 10 and buyer will lose 10 okay and on 25th mind you 25th is the is the expiry date 25th so 25th imagine the price goes to 1000 and uh, let's say 1030 so 1030 this is the last day 25th expiry day expiry date so it has come down by 10 so because it is coming down seller will be happy so he will get 10 and uh, so the next day he is going to get 10 and and he the buyer will lose 10 over here that's it after that the contract gets expired so on 26th what is the price it doesn't matter to x or to y that will not be accounted over here as 25th is the expiry date so now what happens okay because 25th expiry date has happened now let's just count so mr x the buyer he brought in 400 and he got the uh, exposure towards the contract worth 4000 rupees right so if i calculate all this so it will come to it comes to 430 and so that means he brought in 400 and he got 430 so if he has got 30 extra that means seller should be losing 30 so he should have 370 let's just you know again add up all this and let me just confirm it yeah so when i calculate all this it comes to 330 okay so this is uh, this is you know uh, this is how how uh, daily settlement is calculated through mark to market uh, concept okay so so he brought in 400 but then see this example i have shown with only you know only one uh, 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 share example but however practically it will happen in lot what do you mean by lot so one lot will have you know one lot depending upon from company to company so suppose one lot may have uh, you know it may represent 100 shares or it may represent you know 150 shares or 200 shares it depends from company to company okay or 200 shares it depends from company to company okay nothing fixed over here it depends from company to company so if it is for one lot assuming let's say one lot represents 100 shares so in this case how it will happen is if one lot is representing 100 shares one shares price is thousand so that means the contract value practically how it will happen is contract value is one i mean uh, thousand contract value is thousand so this is the uh, i mean sorry how it will happen is for one share okay so for one share it is thousand and they are entering into the contract for 100 shares okay 100 shares so it will be um, contract value will be contract value will be price for one share into uh, number of number of shares in a lot number of shares in a lot so it will be this much okay this will be the exact contract value so in this case it will be uh, you know hundred thousand hundred thousand will be the contract value so 40 percentage if x and y are entering into the contract 40 percentage of this uh, contract uh, 40 percentage will come to forty thousand so he has to you know uh, deposit 40,000 and y has to deposit 40,000 similarly now as i said 1000 is going up 
initially i said 1000 is going up to 1010 so this is for one share so when 1000 is going to 1010 this is for one share but we have exposure to 100 shares okay so into 100 so practically 10 into uh, 100 thousand so he will get thousand x will get thousand buyer will get thousand and y seller will lose uh, thousand okay so practically this is this is what happens but i explained it with you know just taking one example one shares example to understand mark to market so this this process of daily settlement based on the closing price is called mark to market so if i have to articulate it mark to market is the process of is the process of uh, calculating calculating profit and losses profits and losses based on the closing price of the underlying asset based on the closing price based on the closing price of the underlying asset okay so this is mark to market thank you thanks for your time